Hello and welcome back to the Raiders Connected Franchise Series in Madden 16. So I am sorry guys for the long layoff. I'm in college, I have school, I have a life, I'm in a fraternity, I have lots of other stuff going on, so I apologize. But we are finally back in it and ready to start year two following the draft, picking up a young cornerback who we can hope or who we hope can come in and make a huge difference. So this season, we start off with a couple of division opponents at Chiefs, at Broncos, at Texans, Colts at home, and then at Bills, by week, and at Buccaneers. That's a lot of away games. So, then we have a nice chunk in the middle there where we have a uh, few home games, and that is very nice. But um, a tough schedule somewhat to start at the season, and then gets a little bit lighter, it looks like, in the middle there. Obviously, you don't know how teams are going to turn out totally. Um, but look at all those home games in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six home games in a row. And then three games on the road in a row before we finish at home against the Carolina Panthers. So, a bit of an odd schedule there uh, as far as home and away. So that's kind of just, I don't know, that's kind of freaky the way they did that. But um, hopefully we can improve this season and get back to the playoffs. I think we can. And this season we will be moving to our new home we will have a rebuilt stadium in Oakland keeping the Raiders in Oakland where they belong Donald Penn's injured at the moment so we have Austin Howard filling in um, looking around the rest of the depth chart we brought in TJ Clemmings as our new right tackle uh, Lee Smith we're gonna have to switch in with Michael Rivera as the uh, starting tight end Clive Walford still in their second year player who picked up Ruben Randall and then the rookie Tucker there is not looking too great, but um, same backfield with Carr and uh, Crabtree and Cooper are still in there as receivers. Andre DeBose will be back this season. He was out last year with a um, injury. I believe it was a torn Achilles. Um, there is our rookie at starting cornerback. He's actually the cornerback number two, but there's our rookie Forrest there at left end. Um, not much defensive tackle depth at all, but... We have Dan Williams and C.J. Wilson in there, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, Forrest over there at right end, and Mario Edwards Jr. is the starting left, or excuse, starting right end. T.J. Carey and Alfred Young will be our starting cornerbacks with Hayden behind them. We have Nate Allen at free safety, C.O. Moore at right outside linebacker. We have Trevathan at middle linebacker with uh, Curtis Lofton behind him, and then Junior Gallette at left outside linebacker. So a couple of offseason pickups, manning the linebacker positions there. And then, unfortunately, we have to play 77 overall, Larry Asante, at our strong safety position. And, unfortunately, our kicker sucks. Um, but Marquette King is still looking good. Of course, Murray's going to be our third down back. We'll have DeBose kicking, returning kicks, and he'll also be returning punts. Um, and then Taiwan Jones will be returning kicks with him. And so that's kind of what our team's looking like heading into our Week 1 matchup, of course, on the road, like we saw, in Kansas City. This should be a juicy one. Good divisional matchup to get things started. And Arrowhead is definitely a tough place to play. Obviously, they can get extremely loud. And these fans are nuts. So, hopefully the Raiders can get the season started off right. And take out the Walrus. And the game manager himself, Alex Smith. So, Andy Reid has lots of experience. Lots of playoff experience as well. And you know that he'll be bringing it. But you know Jack Del Rio will be bringing it as well. Two playoff appearances in his career. He has a losing record as of right now, but we are hoping to turn that around this season. And we will be starting off by kicking the ball to Albert Albert, excuse me, Wilson of the Chiefs. Marquette King will be our kickoff specialist due to the fact that our kicker absolutely sucks. But he should be more than able to do the job. So the 2016 season is underway, and we are kicked off. And my controller is low on battery but that does not matter we will shut him down at about the 25 and out comes mr. game manager Alex Smith there you see he has no stats on the season because it's the first game of the season obviously so here we go first play of the season for this Raiders defense hopefully a very much improved Raiders defense and the recordings all choppy um, but we will stop Jamal Charles up the middle there um, so Jamal Charles coming up the middle again and he is shut down on third and two and that will be a three and out for this Chiefs offense and out comes Derek Carr. He had 
a buttload of interceptions last season. So, obviously starting the season off with zero in all his categories. Um, Kamari Cooper back in the fold, hoping to help him out. So, first play of the game will be a pass. It will be completed to Crabtree for four yards. We'll like to see Crabtree keep his speed in bounds there, but it's all right. So, Derek Carr looking to pass again out of the shotgun. Lots of time, no one to throw to. He's going to scramble. He's run down the sideline. Hopefully, he doesn't get hurt. He steps out of bounds like a smart QB. Nice 11-yard pickup on the ground for Derek Carr. So, play fake down the field, right down the seam. Big hit, but Cooper will hang on to the catch. The big catch there. So, we are handed off to Murray. His first rushing attempt of the game, and it'll go for three. So, here is a look at that Chiefs defense. That is really the backbone of this team. So they picked up Mincy. Um, they still have Houston and Ali. They picked up Bostic as well, I believe. Eric Berry back at safety for them with Landon Collins. How in the world he went from the Giants to the Chiefs? I don't know. You're on a rookie deal. So pressure there on third and six. Derek Carr has to throw it away before getting sacked. Um, but we will not be in field goal range, unfortunately, because, like I said, our kicker sucks. So it's Jamal Charles. Shut down in the backfield by Mario Edwards Jr., the second-year defensive end out of Florida State. Second and 10 now from the 9-yard line. Fake the handoff to Charles. No one's biting, but no pressure. There comes a guy, but it's too late. Down the field. Picked off by the cornerback, T.J. Carey. He went up and took the game manager's lame duck of a pass and went and gave the Raiders their first defensive turnover of the season. They had a big issue last year getting turnovers and picking off the ball, but TJ Carey goes up and picks off the underthrown ball. Perfect play, perfect catch, and uh, we had a little bit of pass rush there. So now Raiders first and 10 from the 47, looking to pass, and we will get a nice catch by Rivera there, and he will get upfield to the Chiefs side of the field. So third and one now. Murray going up, and freaking Rodney Hudson absolutely got obliterated off the line. So we will be going nowhere. And it's a fake. We try to run off the cut, and we are going nowhere. Oh, we fake punted. We felt so close. We didn't want to waste a turnover. Uh, but Jamal Charles somehow, oh, somehow not getting tackled by Mack and other guys. But then he gets absolutely annihilated and laid out. So Jamal Charles taking the ball up the middle. Nobody there to stop him until after he gets the first down. Six rushes for 23 yards. It seems like it's feast or famine with Charles this game. And there is another big run for Jamal Charles picking up nine on the play. Third and one now. They will fake the handoff to him. And a big sack right in your face, Alex Smith. DJ Hayden on the cornerback blitz. Sacks Smith. And here is the kick. It is up and it is good. That was a long one. But that will put the Chiefs up three to nothing. So two minutes left in the first quarter now. Raiders. Looking to return a kick for the first time with Andre DeBose. I have a feeling that this guy could be a special returner. And there's a spin move. He's got a sideline. He's got one guy to beat. He breaks off the tackle. Oh! <laughs> if maybe I had gone more towards the sideline, that guy wouldn't have been able to tackle me. But he was so close to breaking that for a touchdown. Dangerous throw there from Derek Carr. And that will give us a second and ten. There is a catch from Amari Cooper. And that will give us a first down on the Chiefs' side of the field, hoping to put up the first points of the day. So handoff to Latavius Murray, cuts it back inside, gets a nice pick up there when there wasn't much where the play was designed to go. Second and four now, almost at the end of the first quarter. Nice pass to Michael Crabtree, picking up a few after the catch as well. First and ten from the 12 in what will likely be the last play of the first quarter. So handoff to Latavius Murray, cuts up the middle, and Rodney Hudson got beat again. So... That will take us into the second quarter now, third and six after a play, and we are going with the halfback screen. Murray's got it, cutting it up and back in, but did not have the blocking he needed, so we will go ahead and kick the field goal. Our kicker is capable of that, and tie it up 3-2-3. Three, three. Jamal Charles taking it, and he is cut down in the backfield. Loss of three, good tackle, DJ Hayden. So Alex Smith sitting back there, throws it away. Didn't have anybody open. Wasn't a whole lot of pressure, but uh, he is 0 for 2 with an interception so far. So looking downfield, 3rd and 13. Everybody's going deep, and there's a sack from the rookie, Reggie Forrest, baby. Getting in there and making an impact in his very first game as a pro. So after a Chiefs punt, Raiders have the ball. Looking downfield, the receiver's not open. I tried to throw it there at the end, but he didn't uh, bite, and uh, the controls don't work. I don't know why, but anyways... 
I uh, hand it off to Latavius Murray up the middle. Gets a huge run in there. He breaks the tackle all the way to the end zone. Latavius Murray into the end zone for six. What a run there. That was some good blocking, but that was more than anything some great running from Latavius Murray. Look at this run. Gets up the middle. Three guys sliding off of him. He is just trucking through into the end zone, and that will put the Raiders up to a 10-3 lead. So back come the Chiefs on offense, and that is another short run stuffed by the defensive line of the Oakland Raiders. Yet another handoff to Jamal Charles, and he gets it up and for the first down, and there's a bad face mask penalty at the end there. I was having trouble finding my words. Short pass underneath for the game manager, and he will do what he does best and pick up one yard on a pass attempt. Um, Jamal Charles taking it. Great blocking for him down the field, all the way down to the Raiders' 33-yard line. Charles already at 59 yards and only 12 rushes. So second and eight now for the Chiefs. Got a blitz coming in. He gets rid of it quick, and Kelsey will break a tackle going down the field. Another missed tackle by the Raiders' defense. Hayden falling, and nobody will be able to catch him. He will trot all the way into the end zone, so they tie it up 10-10. to so here's the Raiders back on offense. Hand off to Latavius Murray up the middle. Not much going there. Pickup of about two. They'll call it three, but it looked more like two. Anyways, uh, Carr trying to run away, and I tried to throw it away, but it did not work. Justin Houston will chase him down and get the sack. Third and 17 now. Looking down the field, and he got his receiver for the first down. Michael Rivera. He got down the seam somehow, some way. They were not covering him, and that is their mistake. So the drive continues, second and ten, hitting Murray out of the backfield. Down the sideline, shakes off a tackler down to the Chiefs, 35. What a catch and run there for Latavius Murray. So looking to pass again. Once again, we find Amari Cooper for a first down. Nice passing. So Raiders continue to drive down the field. Latavius Murray up the middle, picks up a nice chunk there. So that will bring up. A third and two, so we will be running it again, and Rodney Hudson gets beat again, but it doesn't matter. We pick up the first down, and the Raiders' drive continues yet again, almost to the two-minute warning. Pass inside to Cooper, and he gets down to about the six-yard line. So, that will take us to two-minute warning, and second and two now from the six for the Raiders, looking to pass once again. Lots of time, nobody open. Go to the corner of the end zone, and that was a dangerous throw. I tried to throw a bullet, but for some reason he lost it up there. I guess he didn't hit it right. But looking to throw again, and it's picked off by Barry over the middle. Did not see him, and they will keep the Raiders out of the end zone after such a great drive. So just under two minutes left now for the Chiefs with all three of their timeouts. And now there's only a minute left. They are wasting time like they want to uh, for some reason, but... They will get the ball down to the 34-yard line, first and 10 now. All three timeouts remain. Looking down the field, and they will get a receiver. Ooh, big hit. And that will be a timeout for the Chiefs, as he needs a head, uh, second to clear his head. Um, I believe that was Jerry Macklin that got laid out. But Alex Smith drawing back to pass. A little bit of pressure, and they get to him. That's a sack for the Raiders' defense. Once again, big Dan Williams up the middle, getting some interior pressure. So second and 19 now, they're just letting the clock tick away, and they'll be looking to pass it down the field once again, deep down field, and it is incomplete. So that will bring up a third and 19 with nine seconds left in the game. Raiders playing deep, obviously trying to protect the Hail Mary. They'll just try to throw a little halfback screen, and they can't even do that. Five seconds left now in the half, and they will try yet again one more Hail Mary pass. Uh, trying to get some pressure in there and get to him at the last second, all the way deep down the field towards the end zone, and no one will come up with it. So that will take us to halftime, guys. Tied 10 to 10. Raiders left some points out on the field with that car interception. And, you know, defense is playing pretty decently right now. I wish we could slow down Charles a little bit better. But look at that. We're dominating the statistics. And Raiders just need to eliminate the mistakes in the second half, and they should have it. Start of the third quarter now. Derek Carr looking to pass yet again. All day to throw. Tossing it over, and there's a flag, and it doesn't matter. Cooper catches it one-handed, and then he gets tackled. What a catch by Amari Cooper. I was trying to make sure I didn't go out of bounds, so I really slammed him back inside of the Chiefs player. Could have had a much better play there and stretched it out longer. But we will, of course, decline that penalty and get it down to the 47. So now after a one-yard run to the 48, we're going to fake the handoff. Looking to throw pressure in his face. 
our old line could not block anyone on that play. And look at that. Talking crap to Ruben Randall, and Ruben Randall's not taking any of it. So third and nine now after that sack, and Derek Carr looking to throw down the field. Or excuse me, that wasn't a sack, it was an incomplete pass, but um, that was another incomplete pass, and Chiefs will get the ball back because of Charles getting around the edge and picking up where he left off, left off, excuse me, in the first half, picking up more big run yards. And Alex Smith gets the quarterback option. He keeps it. He's got a little bit of speed, but not enough to run away from TJ Carey. Huge run there, 34-yard run for Alex Smith. So now, Alex Smith tossing it down the field. Last time that didn't turn out so well. This time he will get his receiver down to the 18. Chiefs are driving. Charles nowhere to go up the middle. Junior Gallette coming in and taking him down. Second and 11 now. Charles up the middle, down to the 9-yard line. Didn't pick up the first, but guys, unfortunately they did end up scoring. And unfortunately the recording went wonky at this point. Um, but you guys are not missing out on anything. The final score ends up being something like 33-10, to 10, I believe. The game just totally got out of hand after that. Carr threw a couple more interceptions, I believe, and we couldn't get the ball movement moving. Excuse me. Uh, we missed a field goal there, and, you know, our DBs were not doing too well whatsoever in the secondary. And as you see there, Travis Kelsey with another touchdown. Um, they just drove the field on us time and time again. There's another field goal, 27-10. to 10. So this game was just all crap. So hopefully we can bounce back from a horrible week one performance and, uh, you know, get on the right track. But this is not a good start for what's supposed to be a new and improved Raiders team. Going down 33-10 to 10 in Kansas City, that's a big division loss. Uh, could have implications, playoff implications, uh, down the road. But you never know. So... Fortunately, we couldn't stop Charles or anyone else for that matter, and, uh, you know, not looking too good, but next week we take on the Broncos. I'll see you guys then.